What's up guys, it's your boy Alan Wade back again with another video. I hope everybody's staying safe during lockdown 2020. Incredible, everybody is doing the same thing on lockdown, everybody all over the world. That shows you that we're all one people, we're all going through this together. How incredible is that? Anyway guys, um, wanted to show you, make a quick video to emphasize to you guys how important it is to learn Silhouette Studio. A lot of us have Cameo 4s, Cameo 3s, Cameo, and even Cameo 2s, yeah. And um, we're fixated on the actual unit, the Cameo units. But I need to emphasize how important, it's just as important to know how to operate the software as it is to use the actual machine. The hardware is important, but the software is also important. So I want to show you guys a few tips and a few things that's gonna help you navigate and it's gonna help you create different things and manipulate the software to make your garments and to make the cutouts that you guys wanna make. All right, so without further ado, give this video a thumbs up real fast and subscribe to the channel if it's your first time here and let's jump into the software, guys. So we're here inside Silhouette Studio. This specific one I'm using is the Designer Edition. If you don't have Designer Edition, don't worry about it, I think. The version that you're working on should be just fine, but let me know in the comments if any functionality does not work on yours. So what are we gonna be creating? Let's get creative. I don't know, to be honest with you, what I'm gonna make. So let's just, uh, let me think of something real fast. Just wanna, okay, so we're gonna dub, dub nation, um, all caps. I put the caps lock on. All right, so let me tell you guys what I did. Okay, so we have the selection tool. I went and I selected the text tool and I just clicked anywhere on our four by our 12 by 12 area. I put the caps lock on so we can type all our letters in caps and I'm typing out dub nation. All right, so when you type out something, um, what you're getting is transparent letters. Like you got the outline, but there's nothing in the middle. So what you can do is you can, uh, Press, uh, click on the letters, click on the text, come over here to the little, look like a paint palette thing, and then you can color the text any color you want. I'm gonna go ahead and make mine black and I'm gonna change my font. All right, I wanna show you guys something about the font. Okay, so you say, hey, I don't like this color font. I don't like this kind of font. I wanna use a different font. So you think that you just go over here and you just pick another font, which you can do, all right? You can do that totally. But a faster way to do this and to get, a, not faster way, but to get an idea of the type of font, if you don't necessarily know what font you wanna use, you wanna highlight the whole entire font, come over here and you wanna just pick a font and just roll down the list and it can go through the different types of fonts as you press the down arrow key, all right? And it'll roll down the different types of fonts as long as the font is highlighted, all right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and type impact and there's our Dub Nation right here. Dub Nation, uh, what else? Okay, how about we do something related to what's going on right here? Dub Nation, mm, okay, we're gonna go lock down party 2020 all right dub nation lockdown party 2020 we're gonna once again select impact and that changed that and we're going to go ahead and color that in black also and of course you can keep it like this but i like to kind of like center my stuff so i'm just gonna select this right here go up here and center this specific text and put that in the middle just like that and i want to make this whole thing bigger so let's just make it bigger dub nation lockdown party 2020. all right i don't really like the way that looks kind of want the dub nation to be the biggest thing all right and i want lockdown party to be smaller, all right? That's coming out okay so far. Um, what do I wanna do to this now? 
I want to space out. What if you what if you don't like the spacing of your uh, of your text? All right. So say you want to space the letters out a little bit. Okay. So I'm gonna select the text. I'm gonna come down to right here. Um, click on the text tool and the, and the styling on the side, and then I'm gonna come down to character spacing, and I'm just gonna space it out a little bit. This spaces out the characters, which is dope. Gives it some room to breathe a little bit. Lockdown party 2020, and the 2020 and the lockdown party is too far apart, so line spacing, I'm gonna lessen the line spacing to bring that 2020 up a little bit. It's starting to look a little, a little bit better to me, in my opinion. All right, so now I wanna do something different. I have some things, um, have some, other attributes I want to bring into this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this open tool, open folder, and I'm going to select a mask that I had, a PNG that I've had um, grabbed that because I, I liked it and I wanted to possibly create something with it. So guys, what you have to understand is a PNG, when you get a PNG, a PNG off the internet, that's the types of files that you're looking for or you want to create when you're uh, using um, Silhouette Studio. If it's not a PNG, it's okay. It could be a JPEG, but PNGs are just easier to work with because they're already transparent, which means the background of them are uh, the background of the of the image is not there. All right. So this is not a file that we can work with inside of Silhouette Studio. It is actual a picture. It's a picture. It's a PNG. It's a JPEG. It's a TIFF. It's not something that the software created. It looks like it, but it's not. You can't flip this. Actually, you can flip it horizontal. Oh, shoot. All right, so you can flip it horizontal, but it's not a file that you can, like if I went to go send this to print, there is nothing to print, all right, because we didn't create anything yet. So what you wanna do is you wanna make this, but you wanna make it something that, like kinda like the text. Let me show you what, what I'm talking about. We imported this as a reference so we can trace it. So we're going to hit this tool right here, which is the open, the trace panel, the trace panel, then we want to select the trace area. This is the very basic, the main tool you want to work with in Silhouette Studio is the trace tool. Okay, so now it's traced everything. You see my settings right there. My threshold is 45. I have a solid fill. Let me select outline so you guys see what that looks like. Didn't do anything. But we're just going to go to solid fill right now. Outline. Uh, okay. And 45, 0, 0, and 10 is scale. Is, uh, scale. We're just gonna hit trace. Trace, and right now you don't see anything, but when I select and I press delete, you see the outline of what we created. So again, we're gonna select it, and we're gonna color it. So we're gonna go to our palette tool, panel tool, paint pal palette, and we're gonna Color it black. Now we have a file that we can work with. All right, so I'm gonna add this to my other image. I'm gonna go ahead and Command C or or Control C if you're on a PC. Come over here to our original image, click on it, and Command V to paste it, or Control V if you're on a PC. All right, so just let me show you guys a quick basic functionality of some stuff that you could do in here. All right, so say I made this white and now this is on top of here. I can go ahead and I can send this picture to the back if I wanted to. So, see, this is send backwards. So now you see the mask went in back of the text. All right, now the whole mask is in back of the text. Or I can select the mask again and I can bring it forward. See that? As I'm pressing it, it's going further and further back. All right? or I could just bring it back all together, or I could just bring forward all together. When you click this, it does it layer by layer. One, then the second layer. First, second layer, or throw it in the back. Throw it to the front, all right? What else can I show you? I'm not gonna show you everything all at once, but what I'm gonna do, let me think. I'm gonna color this black. I'm gonna. I'm trying to integrate this with, uh, with, okay, so I see what I'm gonna do. So another tip, uh, when you're working with text, you can just select the text, and if you double click on the text, it'll 
take you back to, to the uh, text tool. And then, so I'm gonna delete the U. No, let me see. Hmm. I'm going to actually delete the O. All right, boom, 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 make some space. And I'm going to shrink this down and I'm going to replace the O with our mask. All right, you gotta get creative with this stuff. A little bit of space. Dub Nation, Lockdown Party. And I actually have a lock. Um, is that too much space, guys? What do you guys think? Let me shorten it up a little bit. Just looking for spacing here. That looks good. Okay, Dub Nation. Um, yeah, that's cool. I'm just using the arrow keys to just move it around a bit, and that's perfect. All right, Dub Nation Lockdown Party 2020. All right, so I'm gonna select everything, move it down a little bit to the center so I can look at it better. Um, I'm also gonna grab this lock, uh, X this out, don't need this. And I'm gonna open this, grab this lock right here that I got. And as you guys can see, it's not a PNG, it has a background, so I can, I have to take the background out. This is a JPEG. So I'm gonna go ahead and select trace area, select trace area, and boom. I'm gonna go ahead and trace the trace area and trace. All right, now I can select the layer and delete. You guys follow what I did just now? Did I go too fast? Let me do it again. All right. So I opened up, oh, this was a PNG. I opened up the lock PNG and it's interesting because a PNG normally doesn't have a background, but this does. So, and then I press select trace area, right? It get brought up the crosshairs. I went ahead and clicked and dragged, click and drag over top, let go. It highlighted the trace area and I just hit trace and then I selected the picture, press delete, and now I'm just left with the trace, okay? So I'm just gonna click on the trace, and once again, color the trace. All right, boom, now I have that trace out. Now this is the file, the reason why I did this is because this, now like I said, the last one, this is a file that I can work with within Silhouette Studio. The picture that I brought in was not a file that I could work with. And I'm gonna do the same thing, Oh, you know what, something else I can show you guys? Um, when you trace an image like this, sometimes you'll get jagged edges. If you ever have an image that has a lot of jagged edges, you can double click on it, and you can just click some of those points, and you can just delete them to make it smooth. Delete, delete, you know? Wherever a straight line is that you don't need that point, extra point, just delete it. All right, so highlight, shrink it a little bit, I'm gonna uh, Command C to copy it. Bring it back over here, Command V. And I'm gonna put this lock down, of course, in the lock part. Double click, delete the O, space it out a bit. Uh, bring this up. Maybe shrink it down a little bit because it's too big. All right, all right. Might have to bring that whole thing down. Close that up a bit. Bring that over. Select the whole thing. Drag it down to give it some space. Dub Nation Lockdown Party 2020. Hmm, awesome. What about you only live once? What about we only live once? We only live once, wola. Not, instead of yola, wola. You only live once. Remember that term was popular, like, what was it, two years ago? Now we're gonna use it for ours, all right? Boom, color it black. I'm just speeding through it now, all right? Make that a little bit bigger. Maybe a tad bit smaller. 
and then type the saying underneath it in case people are like, what is Wola? All right, um, we only live once. Interesting. In light of everything that's going on right now, gotta know, we only live once. All right, so we gotta take advantage of every opportunity we get. Um, live life to the fullest, enjoy each day, and, you know, not take things for granted, guys. We have a little bit of time here on Earth, truth be told, what, 80, 90 years if you're lucky, 100 years if you're super lucky. It's not a long amount of time. So live life to the fullest, especially during lockdown, guys. We have to take our time and do everything it is that we want to do to fulfill our destinies. Okay, so now we got this. What do we do with this? We want to print it out. It's all one color. It's really, really simple. Only thing left to do is to highlight the whole thing because when you're printing, when you're sending this to the Cameo, you have to flip your image horizontal. Flip horizontal. But what else you can do so that you don't move your stuff, like your stuff doesn't accidentally move like that, Command Z to undo. You can highlight everything if you wanted to, and you can group everything. That way, now everything, you can move everything together, and when you select it, it's everything. Now when you group, it's uh, everything moves. Now when you group something, you can also ungroup. So that's what I like about uh, Silhouette Studio. A lot of features in here, flip horizontal, and that is how you send it to the printer. But wait, you see that, or how that's butted up against that? We don't want that. So let me flip it horizontal, let me fix that back. I don't know how that happened. So I'm gonna ungroup, ungroup, and I'm gonna move that back over. I don't know how that happened like that. Okay, so group it back. All right, that's cool. All right, cool. Flip horizontal. You just gotta pay attention to your image. I put mine in the upper, upper left hand corner. And now you're ready to send this out to be printed. Um, you can cut by line or you can cut by fill. Cutting by fill lets you select a different color. So if you ever wanna cut one color at a time, you can do that. I have no cameo hooked up. I just wanted to show you guys how to do that. And then you go ahead and select what kind of printer you have and stuff, what kind of uh, material you're using, which would probably be size or easy bead for this. And then you can adjust your settings and send your image to cut guys. So yeah, just a quick video to show you guys a few things that you can do on Silhouette Studio, because like I said, using the software is just as important. Knowing how to use the software is just as important as knowing how to use the hardware, the machine itself. So remember that guys, you gotta be well-rounded and well-versed in all this stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if it was useful or not. Let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. It's your boy. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at instagram.com backslash Productions. Don't forget to follow the gaming channel. I've been gaming, guys. Alan Wade Games. It's going to be hard for you guys to find it because it doesn't have a custom URL yet. I only have 15 subscribers on that channel, actually. So if you want to follow me on a PlayStation Network, Adub Productions on a PlayStation Network, you can friend me there and we can play some games online together during the lockdown. Or, uh, you know, just follow me on Instagram, Adub Productions. Follow me on Facebook, Adub Productions, and King Adub on Facebook. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy, peace. One more thing I just thought of. Let me know if you guys want this file. If you guys want this uh, Silhouette Studio file, just let me know in the comment section and I'll put it on my website. Matter of fact, I'll just put it on my website if any of you guys want it, um, 99 cent. One dollar, you could buy this file. You can manipulate it and change, put it, put your channel name on there and move some things around if you'd like. It's your boy, man, I'm out of here. For real this time, peace. Turn up that, crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby?